And you go into things with a way open mind and you'll be like, you'll find something good about it. And I'll be like, no. <laughs> no, I, I assure you, bad, <laughs> Just bad bad things exist. I am very judgmental. I am a cynical douche. I, yeah. I know that about but you me. Give, That's like, why every, you I... give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So you'll watch it. You'll be like, but Corey, you know, and I'll be like, no, <laughs> Nate, it's just but You're bad. not going to convince me that Corey Feldman still doesn't have a soft spot he, in No, your he heart. just sucks. It's just, that's <laughs> it. Like, he I'll just sucks. Up, I'll show up, like, front we should with be my Donatello all figure. This. Corey Feldman, you suck. <laughs> I am. Yeah, we're rolling. <laughs> oh, we are. Please sign my that's Donatello. Awesome. Uh, Never mind my friend. He's an asshole. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to the Artistry on Earth podcast. We are Cryptic Tattoo and Social Gallery here in Springfield, Missouri. And we have a very special guest with us, a third amigo, (laughs) very talented tattoo artist and painter and co-owner of Cryptic, Mandy. Hey. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) Hey. So, yeah, needless to say, this is a, it's a big deal because you're not really a limelight person. You're not really in front of the camera much. You're behind the scenes, like. Watching. Yeah, watching, She's an onlooker. plotting, yeah, <laughs> living vicariously through all of us, making asses of ourselves. Yeah, what idiots. the graveyard shift. Yeah, but no, this is a, this is a really big deal, and and you know we from the very beginning we thought you know we're going to do this. You're not obligated to. You're always invited, but you know at your own discretion if you want to be on. There's I mean, we'd we'd love to have you and and show you off. And you can we kind of be like the weather guy on on uh, Family Guy. When they ask about the weather, yeah. so what's it doing outside? Storming. And then just, <laughs> and then just cut out. Just disappeared. And this word from Mandy. Yep. yep. I hate you. And now back to you. <laughs> no, th- thanks for doing this. Yeah. This is really cool. Um, I, we sent a link a long time, uh, a while back, whenever we did the first, like, kind of episode zero test episode. And I guess you, uh, th- you, you went back and you sat in and you, you watched it or you, you put it on play. And then uh, the next day you're like... You know, if you want me on, I'll do it. I'm like, so did we? Did we inspire Mandy to come out of I hiding? Just felt like I probably should at least once. Just once, maybe once. Well, we talked about you enough, you know, and like you were the mystical unicorn that, like, mm, I don't think she exists. I'm like, no, she does. No, like when when we started cryptic, like you know, we I don't know if we really had, uh, you know, it's it's more of my like ambition to to do the the video stuff and the audio stuff and the, you know, like, I don't know, maybe I want to be a celebrity, but not really. I don't know. I, I couldn't handle that kind of attention, but I do know that when I'm surrounded by people that I look up to and I, and there's peers and, and especially in the art industry, like I, I guess, I guess the running joke is I'm, I'm a Sam wise to everybody else's Frodo. Like, I just like to like celebrate other people. Peanut butter to the gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm over there just sobbing. No, you need to do that portrait tattoo. You need to do it. <laughs> You're the coolest. Because I can't. Sugar. <laughs> uh, and but there's always pieces to the puzzle, you know. And 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 you know, cryptic was a little bit of a puzzle, but I think we handled it really well. And when it came to a lot of the stuff, like the behind the scenes, the the heavy lifting stuff, you know, we we really we really relied on you a lot, and we really appreciate your help. Like when we. When we needed something, you know, done, like with the flooring, like it was you <laughs> and Kelsey, and Kel- you're right, yeah. and Kelsey and Nick and everybody. It was you. You were grabbing tools and just like laying floor, and and you know the skull wall was a funny trip because I mean, yeah, we we made the molds and we made we we built the you know the stuff, but we're like, okay, now we got all the skulls on the wall, <laughs> and we, and we were like, okay, now we got to get that some bitch on the wall. Like, how are we gonna do that? The two of you, like, just, just there, strong there armed into the wall. <laughs> and he was like, well, well, hold on. Let me let me get back here. And Mandy's like, jams her D in the in the in in one of the skulls to hold it up. And she's just like, okay, do it. I'm like, yeah. okay. Sorry, this is taking a minute. Okay, Nate, you can just hurry up. <laughs> I <laughs> wasn't hurrying. I had it. Yeah, I know. We only brought two well, skulls. You, you <laughs> jammed that knee in we that. Did. And I think it still has, like, a, a an indent, like, which is awesome. Like, he has a <laughs> knee in his head. <laughs> it's a <laughs> knee hole in his head, yeah. No, it was, it was, um, and uh, any, any time we needed anything like, you know, you, you were always available. You're always there, you know, and, and that's amongst 
all the stuff that we were doing here, starting this, like this new chapter in our life, you know, like you were going through a lot of stuff on your own and, you know, just the tenacity and, you know, you're, you're very thoughtful and, and, you know, really appreciate your help and you know, you're a valuable part of it. Even if people don't see you in the, in the limelight, like, thanks, you know, watch out. Cause Mandy, there's always Mandy. Don't mess with us. Cause there's always Mandy right, <laughs> right? behind you. <laughs> like, like, she will throw you out and break your and break you in half but we haven't had to do that yet we haven't had to um hire you for your goon abilities but almost not... <laughs> on friday the 13th almost oh um, almost <laughs> and i got stuck with those people there was <laughs> there was that one just that one. which is awesome right. when you have a vibe of a place that's so great you get one karen in a, in a mob of people during a flash event where everybody else, who while they're complaining about it taking too long to get these, you know, really nice tattoos for really cheap, you've got twelve of them going. You can go before me. Yeah, they work yeah. together. Yeah, to push her <laughs> up in the list to get her out quicker. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's flattering. Let her go. That's a statement. <laughs> like right. we created a vibe that was just like everybody band together. It's funny that they made the statement when she was the one trying to make a statement. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, they made her statement irrelevant. Yeah, the tables turned. Yeah, yeah that backfired. She's outside bad mouth. You're never going to get tattooed. They take too long. And all that. And if I was like, no, that's fine. You go ahead. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, I'll get mine. I'll wait. Yeah. I'll get mine. No, that was that was a cool story. Yeah. It's flattering. <laughs> but So thank you again, Mandy. This is, yeah. this, I know this isn't easy to do, but we really appreciate you. And I mean, you know, it's like we're, we're the three amigos. We're the, you know, the owners, the founders of Cryptic Tattoo. And I came into your you know at the last location the two of you worked together for quite a while um and i even knew back then before you guys were really talking to me much like that there was a bond between you like you had like this i don't know almost like a team kind of mentality about you and uh and for what and it could just be because you were the most like i wouldn't say quiet but you weren't the most like outwardly expressive people maybe introverted I don't also know. me and david were the veteran artists there like That's true. we were the ones that were there the longest out of everybody so right. yeah you know, had yeah. the time to get to know each other and be close yeah when you're the the staple mm -hmm. you know the constant right and yeah and the rest is kind of a a, a revolving door so mm -hmm. to speak i don't want to say i don't want to really say a revolving door just an open door yeah, yeah. Open. It, re yeah. it never revolved it was just an open door yeah you know for anybody it was almost like a i don't want to say that i'll just let that let that be that well just needs to say, to say the rug bay. <laughs> you'd build something up and then the rug would be taken right out from under you and then you had to start all over but you always had you know the two of you together to kind of Reassess. I mean, and there was a and... there was a short period where you know, it was we was separated, mm -hmm. and then eventually it was gonna end up back at that, and then it kind of flipped around, and she came back instead of me going, and yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rest is history. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer when you you know you make a such a tough decision to leave a such you know a certain environment. It's hard, and then, especially and then to come after back when into you it or invest being... that kind of time, mm -hmm. right? You know, in in a place, and and um, you know, you you at that point, you kind of just put your own faith in yourself, right? You know, not where you're at; it's yourself it becomes yourself. Whereas here, it's it's not just yourself; it's this whole place as a whole, right? Yeah, you know? I mean, and it's frustrating. Cause you you. <laughs> Everybody you left our, the last location because you you needed a change. It, it wasn't the right fit for you, and you you left. You went where somewhere else. Shortly, not long after that at all, it turns out that place got absorbed into our place. Same anyways, place. <laughs> <laughs> yep. like they, you know, it was kind of relinquished over to the you know ownership of the people that you you know were needed to leave in the first place. So that that had to have been. But you took it well, like you, you, you handled it professionally, you know, you were, you, you did the work, you, you know, you were just as available and, and you grew as an artist all the same, like that didn't slow you down. And that's amongst, again, uh, other things that you were going on, going on with you in your life. You know, you're going through a huge major transition and you were making huge decisions and some of them, 
Some no, of them. It was, it was crazy when she came back. I mean, that yeah. was that was after our conversation. That was that was a you straight shifted gears. It was like you know what? Okay, sell this gotta be. And when you came back, that's exactly what it was, man. There was no okay this for like some people are. It's like that for a little bit, and then they just kind of back off. That's just how it was it yeah. was like you know what this is this way it's got to be you know and mm -hmm. you just you stuck to your guns and you know it was awesome to have you back but it was bittersweet you know because like in the back of my head i'm just like man <laughs> like, there was there was a reason for all of that sure it was supposed to happen that way i you i know? i see that now just yeah. like just like it was it was supposed to happen that you were supposed to be where you were it was almost like it was timing. It was almost like, yeah, it, it was, it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, because when the planets align and you see it, you you see it. Yeah. You know, and when you have commonalities amongst yourselves and you see other things going in different directions, then you know it's 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 one of those things. Yeah. <laughs> what do I try to say? It's one of those things where you just, you know, <laughs> you just, if you know, you know, it's, it's, it just works. It's so, this is, I mean, I know we're cryptic, but we're being really cryptic here. <laughs> if you know, you know. But if you have that gut feeling that you got to leave, you know, you, you know, a shop because it's not the right fit for you. And then, and then, you know, so you make that decision, you bring up the courage and you leave and then you end up getting absorbed right back. And then that, that the place you go ends up being bought and taken over by the same shop you just left. <laughs> like, and you're just like, damn it. Like you're just in this loop. You're stuck in this trap. And it was Groundhog's Day. It, but, yeah. <laughs> but kind of, yeah, like I said, it, it was yeah. just Groundhog's Day. A huge kudos to you because you, you took it for what it was. You weren't defeated and you know, like, but you kept your, your goals in mind. And oh, I felt defeated, but I pushed through. But here we are. I'm just like, I got to do what I got to do. As soon as an opportunity but... came, you know, I was like, yeah, I mean, that's cool. Like, you know, ask Mandy what she thinks. And she's like, well, I already know. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, no, she's very clear. Mm -hmm. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like. And you're not, you're not like a, you know, the type to just be like super outspoken. Like you're not afraid to, but it's just, you know, and I think both of you were at that place. Like you put your headphones on or you, you start, you were painting a lot, you know, it's just like, you were just mm -hmm. trying to, you know, and I felt weird, you know, asking you questions, but you guys did really cool stuff. So I couldn't not. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's cool how it worked out. And then here we are. And I, and here I am asking you to get in front of a camera with a microphone in your face and. And talk about you mm -hmm. which i hate doing but i got questions <laughs> and i think they're pretty important because i i think these are you know so how long have you been actually tattooing like officially like in the industry this will be my fifth year actually being licensed but i've been in it for six six or seven now six or seven yeah. right on when you um before you were a tattoo artist, did you did you always like want to be a tattoo artist? Was that always something that you were like, I'm going to be that one day? Or did you... wanted to be an artist or a veterinarian. And I ended up being a dental assistant and then a tattoo artist. <laughs> what made you veer towards being a tattooist? Yeah. Just the money was better and I didn't want to do graphic design. It just wasn't an interest. I like the hands-on type of thing way better than just digital. That seems pretty common. Did you, did your tattooing apprenticeship and your, and your dental assistant, did it cross? Did it crossed it... a little bit, okay. but I ended up quitting the dental assisting pretty quick so that I could be there full time. So you really, it was like a, was it like a, a you know, I, I want to do art in some way. I don't really know yeah. how, but like that seemed to be the most like, pro, like That seemed to be the idea. most obvious one yeah. to go to. Right. That's cool. Like what, what about dental assistant? Like, cause I mean, you know, you, you get people in the medical field, you know, and they, and it all walks of life, you know, nurses, surgeons, you know, whatever, but it's not, it's not that uncommon of a story for people to be like, yeah, I wanted to do work that helped people, but didn't like put their life at risk, you know? So that was, and then, and then they're like, nah, now I do tattoos. Now I draw on people. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it's like, it seems to be a pretty, pretty common transition. Like, was that, was that an easy one for you? Was there... Yeah, I mean, it was kind of easy because I just got tired of the dental assisting. Mm -hmm. Just kind of bored with it. I mean, I still liked helping people, and I enjoyed I making them feel better. But, yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ah, stern. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> like, boy. <laughs> yeah. It definitely changes kissing people for you. Like, 
Oh, oh yeah, you know? I bet. You're like, so are you yeah. going to fix this? Yeah. How does anybody kiss you? Man. Because <laughs> they don't see that. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> when people talk, do you look in their mouth? Like when sometimes. Talk, sometimes. Sometimes it's just a habit. Like I just do. But I don't. I look at their eyes so that I, I don't get caught looking at, like, I don't know, their butt or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be, you know just being the tall big guy i already feel like i'm the awkward one in the conversation every time and you know i can't make a move or do anything without being seen like i, I can't hide i can't you know so i'm like hi <laughs> <laughs> we're cool i'm like 10 feet away so i'm yeah, always true. in your in your in your periphery. <laughs> yeah when me and david had to ignore you for that two months yeah i made it difficult i made it difficult though yeah did I make no, you guys I laugh at all? No. No. I, I, I came to work and didn't give a shit. Yeah, I didn't. I'm, did I? I I'm you, like, not I, even I, a chuckle? I, no. I was just, I don't care who he is. I don't. Ah, uh, man. I, I have no need to talk to him. Don't want to talk to him. Don't everything's know workshopping. Why he's here. But there's always that one joke <laughs> that gets in and then they're sold. Nope. Not mm. once. Doubt it. You just came in and just did your thing. And yeah, that's true. Avoided the fence with the dog behind it and <laughs> <laughs> I was like I'm not gonna walk over there you know I'm gonna go the I'm gonna go the long way around yeah avoid that yeah you can't avoid me though like I, I don't know that's you kind of grew on me <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a cancer but I'm kind of no. a mold <laughs> a fungus. A fungus. I'm just like oh. <laughs> yeah. like what is this thing <laughs> do I need to go to the doctor for this so you did your apprenticeship, but was it in one? It wasn't just in one place, right? Like, did you? Nope, it was in two. Two. But it was with kind of the same group of people because one person left that shop, and as soon as I was like feeling done with that other shop, I found him, and he got me my license quicker than the first. Did you? Oh, follow, yeah. Did you follow that person from that the first shop? Yep. Okay. So you at least had somebody in your corner. Yeah. For a minute. Mm-hmm. How did I was you... always really close friends with him, and he was over there anyways. Like, mm -hmm. he just seemed pretty chill. You said that your apprenticeship took two years, right? Or about, about, about two, about year, two like, years. About two years, yeah. How did, how did it go? Was it? I was running that shop. You were running the place? <laughs> the first <laughs> shop you... or the, the second? First, the first shop. The first I was shop. I was there for about two years, and I was doing everything. I was kind of makes sense. doing the cash drops for them. I was shopping. I was going to that sketchy Walmart. Like, was, on, was, like way was down there on the north for... side. I was getting everyone lunch, cleaning. I was there till 12 at that, night that's sometimes. A, that's a nor that's a, that was... And a, a typical, it's almost like being the, the front desk person. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. That's, yeah. that's that's how Kev was. I mean, Maybe I wouldn't go and get food I'll for you guys. I'll go get lunch. Just, I'll go, go yeah. I'll do this. I'll do this. And I'll do this. I mean, but. Yeah. I mean, Kev, And then watching and soaking breed. up what I could. Yeah. I, I did errands and stuff for people, but it was, it was my, like I offered and, you know, my mentor was like, you don't have to do that. I'm like, well, that's pretty standard for, you know, and obviously you're, you're the shop manager. She's busy. Like she's doing other things or, you know, but yeah, I, it was a much different experience for me, but during your, um, your apprenticeship, like, was it, were you learning tattooing while you were doing that stuff or was it not like, really, they were making me draw something, at least one weird drawing a day. Mm -hmm. And then I was just watching when I could, when I wasn't answering phones or helping other clients or getting okay. things for them. I was just watching. How long was it before they put a machine in your hand? Yeah. It wasn't like it was like towards the end of the two years, like right before I left the first mentor and pretty much had to force him to to let me have a machine. And he said he was waiting for me to come to him and say, buy me a machine or help me get a machine so that I can start. No. He says, I was waiting for you to do that. And I'm just like, OK, so if I wouldn't have gotten angry and upset and asked you now, I wouldn't have had a machine. And he said, right. They just want you to beg for it, just to see how much you Pretty care. Much. But it's and like, it's no, I'm, I'm, like... I was following the rules. Yeah, I was that waiting took, that until yeah. it was we like, supposed to be ready. Hmm? That took place at the place we were at? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. They had the first, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, well, I think okay. I think the whole, like, and I... And I was, is that where you finished your apprenticeship? No. I you... finished mine at, actually at Body, at Body Create. Wow. So I started it at the underground mm -hmm. with right, Joey. Right, and right, right finished it at body create pretty quickly wow yeah. okay so there was um 
there's this process of uh, that I was looking forward to, <laughs> like because I'm a nerd. But there's like this blessing of a mentor to an apprentice with like their with a with a machine, and usually this comes in like a box of the worst like, machine that he could have given you. The absolute well, <laughs> it was like bottom line. Like here, here's this little vibrating bullet. Yeah, here. and I still yeah. have it. It's a testament of like, oh boy, I could have hurt somebody. I but the uh, the there's this whole like mentor ble- you know like in Star Wars when you know like when you build your lightsaber you're officially a master or mm-hmm. you're officially a mm-hmm. Jedi like there's that process in tattooing and it and it and I always look forward to that moment where it, it, granted these are like pieces of a, a rotary or a, a a coil machine like in in dozens of pieces in a box or a baggie dropped in front of them when you put that together you can you can start tattooing you can start using it. I was looking forward to that opportunity, and it never came. He just gave me that little little buzzer, that little vibrator. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, have fun. Here's some yeah. melons. And then two melons later, three melons later, I start working on people. And I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. okay. And it wasn't until, you know, a few months in, I realized that machine was actually really dangerous and had no business being on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I still have it. It's a testament. Mm-hmm. It's a little trophy. But it's like, it. Um, I felt kind of, I, I felt like uh, denied of a, of a, yeah. A per- you know, I don't know. Like I said, it's a, it's like a Jedi moment that I I mm-hmm. wanted to have, where it's just like. So I did. I took a, I, I went into a drawer and I snuck um a, this little black coil machine out of the drawer and I took it apart and then I put it all back together. And I didn't. I didn't. I turned it on, so it it, it worked. But I don't know how well, like, because I didn't yeah. put a needle in there. I didn't use it. <laughs> like on I snuck one out, totally took it apart, put it back together, and go. Okay, I hope it this works. works. And I mean, like, I was looking at a diagram on Google of all the moving parts, and I'm like, yeah, that looks about right. Okay, that looks about right, and it's all moving right, and it sounds, you know, loud. So, <laughs> like, see, so I, I don't never know. had to do that, but yeah. um, I did have to practice with a traditional machine with a pencil in it. And oh I kept, yeah. Since my hands are small, I kept letting it rest on me and burn my hand. Oh, the coils? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I was drawing oh. with the coil with a pencil in it. <laughs> That's cool. Now and they got little shop, ink he pens. Did, he, he was the one that taught me how to do that a little bit. Let me practice. But Did you use rotary for? Um, uh, I've when, never done or... a tattoo with a traditional machine. No. Oh, you never? Okay. No. Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so weird. That's Coil so machines are like cursive. They're cool, but like, really, who's missing out? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you are missing no, out. No, I, I, I want think to. Everybody I, should do at least a piece with a coil. I foresee collecting coil machines just because they look cool. But I'd be, I'd be interested. I still it's have just, my two. I have just, my liner and my shader. They just look like a pain in the ass setup. You mm-hmm. do a convention and you have to have like a whole case. Where and you, you have just... to have a sterilizer to yeah. sterilize needles and all Overrated. that. I mean, until they, well, you did until they all. <laughs> oh, they, they do disposable. have disposable now. For yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that. they did disposable, then that was a whole different. Mm-hmm. I kind of changed the ball game a little bit. But still, I mean, there's it, the coil, coil machines are different. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely just, want to. I think it's got fun. a whole different feel to it. Mm-hmm. It gets hot, though. Yeah. And it's heavy. And I never it's did. awkward. My machines were heavy. Yeah, they're yeah, heavy. Yeah. Let's say I don't know if they're supposed to get that hot though. That but seems if you, questionable. If you <laughs> had a big enough grip, it it offset. It was a counter counterbalance. No. Oh. Yeah, and I don't it like the big them. grip because my hands are smaller, so mm. it hurts. I don't like the big grip on it. So you got through your apprenticeship, and you were licensed. Did you have an idea of like what kind of tattoos you wanted to do? Like, did you? have any favorite artists or styles that you uh, I had a lot of people I just looked at and watched but I liked doing realism, realism? as far as drawings mostly animals though oh, portraits animals, like were animal? hard but I yeah. wanted to do it what uh what I mean yes. when when you do your painting and stuff you do you paint like a wild like a like a wide variety, variety of different of things stuff, like yeah. you know and that's yeah. so like you do a lot of like you know you'll do anime pieces over here you'll do like just like kind of realism and over here like so did you translate your painting like when were you painting before you were tattooing yep i was painting and drawing pretty much my whole life because my mom was kind of into drawing and painting too did you feel that drive to like translate your painting into tattooing or felt like it was easier to just go by what i knew yeah yeah or did you did you learn any styles that were you would never have done in the other art fields? Like, no, I actually like doing this. Like, did you do, did you do the black work graphic design style like like vector graphics and be like, I like this, but would never do it anywhere else? No, Not really. 
So the realism, like mm-hmm. uh, like nature realism and, and, and animals or more portraits? I like doing animals, but I want to do portraits. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be... I think I, I foresee doing it just because it'd be useful, but I'm not inspired to do portraits. And nothing against people to do it. I, you know, like no offense. Doesn't <laughs> take I just, I'm just not inspired. I was like, I could just take a picture instead. Like, I, I don't know if I would feel satisfied with like, because there's an incredible amount of skill and attention to detail. And, but it's like you put all that focus and work and stress into something that looks exactly like it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. Not anything mind blowing like and it it's like it is mind blowing it, it is, that you it translated is. that but like it's you know to the audience it's just like you know it's like oh that that's my kid or it's not mm-hmm. you know? yeah, <laughs> or, or you <laughs> do a photorealism lion and the eye is all cockeyed and, right you know yeah well and that's it's different if it's whis- somebody else's lion the whiskers are just big <laughs> giant things that come out yeah yeah so. if it was my lion i would know my lion if i saw it well you know because you get some somebody online that throws something you know like a demon girl or whatever it's just a face on that just looks cool like okay yeah cool nailed it Mm -hmm. but you get somebody's kid or their grandmother yeah that's a lot more difficult it's like you get the eye pupil you get the pupil different and they're like that's not my kid like they completely disassociate Mm -hmm. with it suddenly yeah and it looks cool to you it's like that's that doesn't seem worth the stress to me Mm -hmm. like how about a kermit the frog you could do a portrait of Kermit the Frog. Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted you got into realism. Um, but you um in the last uh, couple of years, you really and I don't know if it was something that you shot for or if that was just something that people came to you for and, and requested a lot of, but you got into like color portraits and color realism. And you went into it pretty hard. Yeah. And it, it was really impressive because you were, you're just like all of us. You're just kind of like, you just take whatever what's in the door. You're mm-hmm. well-rounded. You can do a little bit of everything. So, it, you know, that, and that works out. But every now and then you see something where you, where, you know, you look at someone's work and be like, wow, okay, I see them in this. And I see, I, I see Mandy in, in this. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm not trying to like okay. put you in a box, but <laughs> it's, you know, it, and I, I don't know, I, I, talk about this a lot i, I kind of fanboy about it a lot but you had a a joker piece from um the killing joke the cover the cover of killing joke and it was you know and and you translated it so well there's so much so much going on in that tattoo and you put it onto skin and it was just that was a moment where i was just like there that's mandy like that's where her brain is that's how she's wired and you know and it's like knowing now i guess that you're what and it's not realism it's an it's a comic book character but mm-hmm. there's so much depth and complexity in the drawing and the art style you know that you you translated like and it's like i, I imagine it's not that much different than this is those little details mm-hmm. that you got in there effectively and the colors and the shades and the tones it was so well done thanks and and then from there, you've had other projects similar to it. On the same yeah, person. You got to you yeah. flip, <laughs> flip the switch with your mind Yeah. when you're doing those because they were all different styles. And it's right. not like, I mean, when you sit down to do just one, that's your mindset. Just mm-hmm. and this is how this is going to go. But when right. you're doing one that is a cartoon, <laughs> one that yeah. is realism, one that is anime yeah. or whatever and she's over here like yeah, yeah well, it's, it's all the like, same character like well no i mean it was the, it's all the same character but it's a different yeah you gotta it's a different mindset each I one i mean each one was wildly was different you had caesar mindset. romero a mm-hmm. color portrait of caesar romero and these are like in letters like the yeah. word joker and each letter had like masked inside like you had caesar romero from the 66 series like like photo photo mm-hmm. quality mm-hmm. and then and then there was uh like heath ledger heath ledger and then the the middle, like the third one, the K, like you know, was was the animated series, mm-hmm. you know, with the Hamill and everything, the animated yeah. cartoon. And then there was um, Jack Nicholson. Uh, yeah, the Jack, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. Jack one. Nicholson was. And then Joaquin Phoenix. And Joaquin. Yep. So all only one of them wasn't like a photo, or wasn't like a yeah, yeah a one color was animated, portrait. Yeah. The center <laughs> one was the easiest one for me, <laughs> but yeah. But you did. It was. What two sessions? It was three. Three. Uh, the first session we did the black on the lettering, and I did a really light gray wash outline on all of the portraits. Mm. And then the second session we colored three, the first three, oh, and then right. the last session, the last two portraits. It's like across his from shoulder to shoulder on his oh, back, yeah. you know, yeah. and it's, it's full back. It's, it'd be a shame if he ended up becoming like a 
Uh, like a Riddler fan instead. <laughs> Doubtful, but That's yeah. Funny. We'll just Penguin. cross it out and put he Riddler across Penguin. the bottom. Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> just put that on the bottom and, yeah. and then put like something. But no, it's just really impressive. And I and I didn't know like, you know, if it was what inspired it, you know, or if it was always something that you shot for. So, I mean, you know, I feel like that was a really good question to ask because, you know, it makes more sense now. But like, you know, like the rest of us, you know, it was a it was a pretty decent like walk in traffic kind of shop. And we mm-hmm. were all just do whatever's asked of us. You know, that's yeah. that's that service part of it, mm-hmm. you know. And but every now and then you had a you had a, an opportunity to really kind of flex. And you did, even if you were shaking and sweating like oh, every yeah. time. Oh, yeah. If- <laughs> I freaked out on a lot of tattoos. I really do. But I try not to let my clients see that. You uh, you told me because before we I we all have a way of stuffing that down. Yeah, exactly. We just, just don't let that show. Yeah. Well, it was like, you that. Yeah, I'm not certain about this, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah. yeah. It was you that actually told me you were very transparent about it. Yeah. <laughs> like that, you know, I was just like, I don't know, when somebody walks in and or you know, and, and they hand it to me, like my vision kind of blurs and my anxiety goes through the roof and I feel weird and and it was you. I was like, oh yeah, no, I that's that's normal. Yeah, why, definitely. What? <laughs> like, oh, it's definitely. like getting butterflies yeah. before you walk on yeah, stage. Yeah, I mean butterflies, mm-hmm. but then she's like, oh, no, no, I've I've pulled over. Uh, I've like full on thrown up in the parking lot before coming in. And I'm like, yep, I did it one time. <laughs> I've, I've, to, I've told people, you know, if you don't if you don't feel nervous before you start yeah. one. Nervous is one thing. It's for me. Yeah. I mean, it's a full on those nerves. I mean, unless it's something I mean, if it's something that I'm used to doing. Then it's not there, but I mean, mm-hmm. right. like when I did my first color portrait, it was just man, ner- it was so nerve wracking. Yeah, like ev- I, every oh, time, <laughs> every time I ke- I sat down to work on that, it was just like, oh my god. And I didn't even realize that I was totally there for your first color yeah. portrait. I didn't yeah. ah. even. <laughs> so the whole time I'm watching you, and I'm just like, do, yeah, to ever do a color one, it was like, oh my god. I thought no, I didn't even realize that. Like, I yeah, like, I didn't even realize that too. I yeah. thought yep. you had done never, color ones never, before. Never, never, never. I knew it was, was a big deal to you. It was. And I, it wasn't supposed to be in color originally, right? Like, there was you're, no, you're it planning was, it for black and gray. No, it was color when she came to me. Uh, and she was like, you know what? I want this 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 color portrait. I was just like, are you kidding? Really? <laughs> Get out of here. You know that? I, yeah, honestly, I didn't say that to her. That's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm like, wow, are you really you want to do that? Because, you know, the nerves and anxiety, inst- instantly they peak. And you're just like, damn, I'm not going to, I can't tell them no. Right. Because, you know, she, she's you had talk that them much, out of it. she's had that much <laughs> faith in me yeah. for so long that it's like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. And yep, I felt sure that enough, way too. Pal, you know, you sit <laughs> down and you piece. just, you, you go at it, you know, because it's like there, she's, she, that client's got that much trust and faith in you yeah that's your client and they so want you, you to yeah, do it and then so it's like okay to. so now i've got to show them why they trust me mm-hmm. yeah and you produce and that's all there's to it you it, you it, you it you go into it all skittish and, and scared and the anxiety levels are high but you you still produce you still mm-hmm. perform you know you still it's those butterflies like i said being in a band right before you go on stage yeah. you get those butterflies you're like damn okay i gotta go out there and nail this Otherwise, I'm just going to be an embarrassment, you know, but yeah. you sit down mm-hmm. and you find some way to get through it mm-hmm. and it's just, you make it happen. Of all the bands that I've been in and, you know, all the art styles and all the different directions I've gone, like there was, I mean, I would get obsessed about things and not sleep about it just because I had a lot of work to do. But like, I, there was nothing that ever made me like sick to my stomach or made me like like made the room spin or made my eyes blurry you know or I've lost never, sleep over. i've never gotten sick to my stomach well i, I didn't I've, i never threw up but it was just like i it it like it claimed like i hit levels of anxiety that and i, and I don't know why i think it's it was this confidence thing i don't know what go it was. outside and breathe but yeah no I've, I've <laughs> yeah, to do that. I, got, I get that way every but once nothing in a while. did that to me mm-hmm. like tattooing and i think a lot of it was because i felt like i was in it blindly like i i learned pretty early on that that my setup wasn't well, my my process isn't and i didn't want to be like hazed or treated like shit because i was a grown-ass man I didn't, you know but i i felt like there needed to be more structure and and i needed to be held accountable for learning my a learning progress you know process not just like here you go here's a sandbox there, 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 there and i felt like i was when when your your confidence level outweighs your yeah. anxiety and that, I mean, and that, because and that, it, it, it's it because that like happens I, to me. I mean, it's not like my anxiety is through the roof with with 
certain pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but the confidence takes takes over, and it's like, okay, cool. I you know I'll sit down. I, I got this. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, and you you just you sit down. And you just do what you do. I mean, I feel a lot know? better now. I feel more excited than now than I did. Cause I felt like an imposter, you know, I didn't really, and I always do that. Everything I pick up that's new and I pick things up quick, but it's like, I, um, I always feel like a, an imposter. Like this is just another phase or something, or just another dart that I'm throwing on the wall. But with this, like, um, I'm feeling pretty good about this, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. about, about us, you know, um, I, I hope so. You're invested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, when we started, um, you know, did you have any like fears or, or were you just like excited? Cause you were in on every conversation, you know, you always had, you had great, you know, like pieces of mind. You, know, you had, you had great perspective and, and you were, you know, when we brought, when we talked about bringing in Kelsey, like you, you were for it, you, you know, but like, mm-hmm. it seemed to be that me and David were more of like the kids going, we could do this and we could do this and we could do this and we could do this. And this is like, well, hold on, let's dial it back. Let's, let's talk to Manny, see how she feels. <laughs> like, was there anything in the process that you felt like was frustrating or stressful for you? Like, well, the part that you kind of took over, which was telling our old boss that we were all leaving. Yeah. That was a stressful part for me. Yeah, because he let me come back in, and I was having like mixed emotions about that. Like I definitely you're wanted like, you're to like be the here, secretary. Yeah. But <laughs> you're I'm, like, okay, you I'm, go up there to the podium, you make the announcement. We're good. And that's not. Yeah. I'm like that. In, I'm, I'm like that in clever kaiju too. I, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I you do. You get a couple person, beers in you, and you do one introduction. And... You do one panel where you're introducing everybody, and you do the host thing, and you do it well once, and now everybody's like, Expects "That's what, you to do it." That's yep. the voice, and I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, yeah, I I don't know. Maybe I thought it was just because I was the least. My face was the least likely to get hit. I don't know. I I, think, and that's the thing; it's tough. Yeah. I didn't want to like. I didn't probably because yeah, I, I, I can't imagine what that would have been like if I would have delivered that message. I just yeah, um, or if I, I didn't did. want to speak on your behalf, you know. No, but, but at the same time, I wanted to represent everybody. No, we spoke as a whole. Yeah, through you. Yeah, we just kind of channeled it. Mm-hmm. And I probably had the least to lose too in the process. It just felt like it would come across more peaceful and. Me and David wouldn't have gone off on him like we might have if you didn't do that, <laughs> because we I had, had a moments, lot to but say, they were but... they were just one on one later. But... Yeah, because when you're when you give somebody a month and they give you six hours. Like, oh, I knew that. Was keep, they, uh, and that's the thing. Like, and it wasn't like. <laughs> exactly. oh, I, keep my mouth yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I it's, you know, it's like it's, I was expecting, and I told you so. I got it in, your, in the look in your <laughs> eye, but you know, <laughs> and it's not like I wasn't aware that it was possible. I just had faith that it wouldn't. And that's but why we were just like I was disappointed, but I wasn't really surprised. It was, you mm-hmm. know, like, well, mm-hmm. that's why we wanted this place secured before we did that. Yeah, that's why we ha- like we played like that was the compromise. At least yeah. get the well, key in hand, and just then, in case. Yep. Like, okay, it, 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 there was, there was, <laughs> as we said all along, there was, there was nothing to tell, and when there was something to tell, we'll tell you. Yep. And then we were like, all right, well. And we were professional about it. Yeah. I mean, we did we did our part. Mandy was smart enough not to pay booth rent that month, so. <laughs> I it know. didn't. It wasn't it like was a like smart day, enough thing. It just kind of happened well, that I forgot. Day after I paid, I know. I literally, yeah, I paid like two days before, and then it's just like guillotine chop, and I was like, there just went my money. <laughs> yeah, Damn. So. You know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Forty-eight hours later, get out. Yeah. Okay. I've never been can kicked I, out of it. I have before. my money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that was for the whole month, right? Yeah, because it was. Yeah. It was. I didn't get my whole month. Kelsey I got, too. Not I got at all. Six hours. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And that was packing. Yeah. Well, a, a couple hours of packing. <laughs> yeah, we I had, had a six full, hours. We had, I had to get out by Actually, no, it, it wasn't even that day. because I like, yeah, because from the time I I got <laughs> dressed and drove down and <laughs> threw everything, dumped everything into a bin and mm-hmm. loaded up, that probably took me all but twenty minutes. But you know that's the thing is we we expected it was possible and and it was his shop his rules and he made that choice and that's you know so we, did, we know loaded what? up here our we stuff are. and here we we, are. we we came here <laughs> and we immediately started tearing up carpet and putting down flooring and getting the place set up I think we were supposed to start in July of 2023 
It was the end of June. Yeah, but we it started, was like no, mid-June. We were it was open, in June. We were yeah, it was in June. June 19th. Yeah. Yep, end of June. So we had maybe a two weeks, like, cause we, even, we and here's the thing, weeks. even the state inspector was like, I could be like the, he popped in and was like, you want me to inspect it? Like, we're still putting we're floor still, in. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you want to inspect is, it and like, hope I feel like we got a good, <laughs> I feel like I'm looking, you know, this is magical. Cause you know, state, they take a while to, you know, you, know, you can need to give anything. them notice. He's yeah. like, I can go back in like a, a week. Yeah. Come back in a week. And okay. So we, <laughs> we tore the place up, got it all legal, ordered everything we needed to have it on display. Got everything set up within a week and. We were uh, yeah, officially taking clients and taking tattoos in like almost you know, like two weeks earlier, mm-hmm. and it so it worked out awesome. And yeah. you know it was stressful, but it was really cool. And then, not even the week after that, we did we we made our first convention appearance. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did at a comic book convention, right? <laughs> which was awesome. I felt like that yeah. was really and, nice. You know, they invited us to come back this year, and of course, we're going to be so excited to be there. So, yeah. you know, hats off to Dave Stanfield and crew of of Tremendicon for for bringing us out. And and again, the same guy, you know, the for for our state inspection. It's like, oh, hey, I know you just totally did this thing, but would you go to this convention hall and, and like do this it? thing? And he did all that for us too, like right yeah. then. I'm like, this yeah. is unreal. Like, <laughs> like right. that's that's a unicorn situation. That does that doesn't, doesn't happen. happen. Yeah. No. So you know, it, it seemed like everything was in the cards, and um, but yeah, we were invited back for Tremendicon. I'm really excited about that. Me too. And uh, but yeah, we'll you know we have some big announcements for like Carnival Winks and yeah. So we'll have to get into that a little bit when we get more details. Lots of good things. Lots of big things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Down the pipeline. Yeah. But no, I, uh, I don't know. I, I just hope you understand how much we appreciate everything. And like, and I, I keep mm-hmm. saying it because like you've been so tied up and, and busy with other things. Like you're going through a whole new chapter in your life. You bought a new house. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You went through a, a messy, well, I wouldn't say It messy. wasn't soup. It was just. You, know. you went through it. It was tough, though. I mean, you were married for a while, right? You nineteen went, years. Nineteen years. That's not. That's not that's short, it's not an know? easy transition, no. but it's yeah, it's, it's worth hard. it for sure. Messy was the wrong word for it, but it was it was hard. And yeah, it, it, just it, hard. it took a lot Difficult out of you. Difficult time. Yeah, you know, went through a lot of stuff. She had to mm-hmm. write m- multiple things. You know, you had that going on. We had everything that was going on at the shop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and those that, that wasn't just a singular thing. That was multiple different things at yeah. different times. Yeah, it was just one, like one, one bad thing after, after another. another. <laughs> it's just like you know, it's just and like, maybe, okay, maybe those bad. were the signs on the wall that we were supposed to pay attention to. Yeah, you know, but that we should have done this sooner, sooner, <laughs> yeah, rather than, rather than later. But you know, there, the, 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 timing is everything. Yeah, yeah. you know, because. Mm-hmm. It, there was discussion early on, mm-hmm. you know, bef- before, you know, 2023, you yeah. know, and then, you know, I had some things that popped up in my life that were difficult that yeah. took precedence and we kind of took everything, put all that on the back burner and just let it go. And then when things started to go a different direction, that plate got moved back to the front burner and, mm-hmm. you know, there you go. And, Next thing you know, we're here and we own a studio and loving life and enjoying enjoying our our reborn careers and <laughs> you know that's that's what it's about. It's about having fun, enjoying what you do. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of hard to enjoy what you do when you're you're miserable. Yeah, and distracted. You know? I mean, I had it pretty easy. I mean, not to brag or anything, but mm-hmm. yeah. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was you know because I had. That's to... why we ignored you, Nate. <laughs> 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 that's why we well no it's just that you know i understand like i check my privilege off and i try to and and it was one of those things where it's like the whole time i knew that i could have just like because there was a lot of things that i couldn't be associated with and i saw them coming and i saw you know and you know my wife was always like well what are you gonna do because i was invited in i never considered it before but like i was really but knowing how much stress I put myself under and knowing how much like I was I was pushing on, you know, to learn and to give it a fair shot. You know, I felt like after, you know, the first year I was like, man, like it would be a shame for me to put myself through all that and then just walk away from it. Mm-hmm. And my wife, she actually really likes what I was doing. 
and she she thinks I'm a good a good artist and a good tattoo artist, and she really she was a fan of it. And it's like that hits different. That's important to me. I didn't want to let her down, but she yeah. by no means put pressured me into making a decision or you know. But she had asked, "Well, what do you want to do?" Because there was just certain things I could not be associated with. It was unprofessional or or mm -hmm. certain aspects. Did you of feel it. like the fat kid in the Twisted Sister video? <laughs> what do you want to do with your life? <laughs> I want a tattoo. <laughs> no, I felt like a uh, uh, Chris Farley in, in Wayne's World getting like, why don't you just leave? Because I got no place <laughs> else left to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, uh, but that was, you know, I just knew that I didn't want to just pack up and go to another shop and just go through all that. I, I didn't care enough about like just, just repeating the process anywhere else. I figured that it was either I was going to walk away and and go back to what I was doing before or, or move on to something else or I was going to end up turning it into something of my own and then um so it was kind of fortuitous that you'd be like hey uh and we kicked around little ideas here and there in fact the logo for uh for cryptic was actually inspired by something that you and Kevin talked about before he died mm -hmm. like a while back like you know just brainstorming different ideas and like well it'd be cool like just I don't know, daydreaming about different ideas or whatever. We always did that. And so, like, just the, the details you gave, like, inspired me to just sit down one day when I was bored and come up with a logo. And we ended up, we actually incorporated Kevin into our logo. And it, so it, it just, like, looking back, there's just little things that just kind of pile up. It was kind of inevitable. Maybe that that's 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 why we are where we are is because of, of that connection. I mm. mean, it we was just kind of strange. Close, but... I mean, because a lot of them... <laughs> Where we came from didn't have that connection. Mandy and I did. Yeah. Everybody else didn't. Nobody, nobody else did other than me and Mandy. And you know when you came on, and then I, you know, like I didn't have, I had no clue. Right. You know. Yeah. Nobody did. That was our commonality. You know. Mandy's it took me a lot. It didn't take me long to realize that but nobody else in the room was on it. <laughs> that, oh, you know. Oh, you knew Kev. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe, oh, yeah. maybe what the I mean, all along. You were the missing link that we were waiting on. I mean, because Mandy and I had talked about doing stuff together, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you know, having all of that mm -hmm. work out is, is super cool. Yeah. Super, super yeah. cool. Now that, there was, there was definitely a, I don't know, like a current, like there was like a, a string that kind of connected everything and, you know, clever Kaiju, which I own with like other really like, incredible artists that you know and and kevin's peers you know um whenever you guys asked you know i was like well you do know i have this other thing and it's really important to me and this is kind of a focus it's a it's a design and animation studio but we have focus on building like an art community and art education and hosting like you know events and stuff for for education and and helping people like discover themselves in an art career and and you're like, yeah, that's cool. I was like, but we knew that there was had to be a very special place to do that at, you know, like it didn't, it, we couldn't just, you know, we didn't have a public place to do it. So when we came here and we were just kind of walking through, I think you were in Florida or something like that week. Right? Yeah, me and we my were daughter texting decided you, to sending take you pictures. a trip. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> but well, David and I were walking through it and we, we walked through the back door and we looked in this room. We're like, <laughs> wow, there's just so much more. Yeah, yeah. this is like. Okay, so it's like I, you know, I don't know. Maybe a part of me was like, "Yeah, well, we'll we'll have to see if we find a plot, a spot for it." And then it came, and we're like, "Yeah, but now they have to approve it because this was like a, a a realty office. Like they're probably not going to want a tattoo studio in here." Oh no, we're cool with it. Well, I guess I'm out of excuses. <laughs> yeah. So. Right. But no, and that's you know, it all just kind of for as stressful as it was. Like honestly. I felt like it was. It went really well. Like I, it went super fast. It really yeah. did. We went all worked fast, together yeah. and like got a month, it done. Maybe two. Went faster yeah. than what I expected it. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like that. The transition was hard no. at all. It was just you know coming in. It was actually a kind of a sigh of relief. It was because we had all our favorite family people, like just all yeah. of us that had a good connection. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, there's always going to be problems with democracy, you know. Like, yeah, but we've never really like, argued or we fought yeah, no, or yeah, gotten no. to or where like, yeah, it's never been one bad. person's way. But yeah. at the same time, I think it's you know like just the fact that everybody's comfortable with at least putting in their two cents without you know like that's a big deal. Because mm -hmm. it's easy for me to get carried away. I get tunnel vision. 
That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, by the way, guys, we have a, a skull wall. Thankfully, everybody was in on it at that time, and everybody was very valuable in, the, in, in helping with it. And I, you know, I mean, hey, we made that happen within a month, two well, two months, because we had it. Ju- we had it finished just uh, just before Halloween. It is. It is quite the construction. Yeah, <laughs> we're still going to keep messing with it, though. It's we're, the greatest, we're still be doing the greatest feat I think I've ever seen. <laughs> like, wow, wow, we pulled that off. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the goals for this year? It's it's the beginning of a new year. What's our what's our goals? We have to have these meetings as owners. We might as well do it now. <laughs> I don't well, know. We got lots of things coming up. We got Just, Carnival coming up. We got Tremendacon coming up. Yeah, this it's podcast uh, we'll probably get launched at some point so you're actually this watching podcast. this a little <laughs> mm-hmm. which everybody needs to subscribe to yeah like and subscribe mm-hmm. always like the please, kids please say. spread the word spread the it word, helps us out yeah. yeah we just need to like advertise more so we're getting more walk-ins and right. more more people in here we're gonna let everybody know we are here right. we have arrived Mm-hmm. And we have a lot to offer, like a lot of insight and education and, you know, just like a lot of peace of mind for a lot of people out there. Because, I mean, you know, it's a new renaissance. Artists are coming up and discovering like, oh, wait, maybe there is something viable in this. Or maybe I am actually not meant to just like be miserable every day. I actually have a skill that could be useful, you know, and there's right. there's a lot of avenues. It's not like when I was a kid in the 90s where there was no Internet. You know, I had other kids' drawings in video game magazines to tell me, like, oh, so you can do something with art. And my goal was to get published in a video game magazine and learn how to draw all my... That's why I learned to draw. Mm-hmm. Never happened. Mm-hmm. Just when I think I was getting good enough to get published in a magazine, they stopped making them. <laughs> like, <laughs> or they stopped, like, that, that, that section of the magazine got smaller and smaller and smaller. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, sorry, Game Pro. No, I guess I I'll just have to go draw on people. There was this magazine that I had that you could send in for this art contest where they had like one half of a picture drawn and they wanted you to draw the other half and send it in. I think it was some art. I school remember in the newspaper they used but... to do that with the the it was I want to say it was like a turtle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it had the squares and they would make, and and they like, would make you. They yeah. would say, okay, draw Dude, this, those draw, commercials draw were... that same turtle and then yeah. send it in. You yeah. can win the wonderful world you know? of art. Yeah. And so as a teenager, <laughs> I was always doing that. Yeah. I was always like, yes, I want to go. Do yeah, okay, I know a lot the of, turtle today. Yeah, I, I know a few people that that ordered that pack and did the test and sent it in, and they were shot down totally, like like horribly shot down. I was, I think, the first two times I was shot down. And then the third time they said something, but I was too young. I think it was for <laughs> college, like an art school. Yeah, I know exactly. That was a very prominent part of my brain. It's just, art that's, what, it, that's what I was going to say. It was, it was an, an art, art institute. Art institute. Yeah, it was yeah. an institute, yeah. And you got this white haired guy. If you drew this and you sent it in, you could be accepted to art institute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, what yeah, it was. That's exactly, yeah. And yeah, they would this basically, they'd open the envelope, they even look had at TV it, and be like, commercials you for are that. not an artist. Yeah. <laughs> you are an artist. And there was like no. Yeah. No real definitive. It's like, who are you to yeah. say Yeah. There was no benchmark that really decided. I think it was, you are not an artist, was were the people that like had money to just keep trying. (laughs) So so they denied everybody. But then the people who paid for it again to keep trying, you're not an artist. Like they just, you know, it was just the application money, I bet. They just wanted to deflate a lot of people. We could Google it and probably find like this whole like, like really deep. There's probably like, a forum that yeah, probably is out Illuminati. there that, that are yeah. plotting, <laughs> plotting the destruction of that. I'm sure there's a controversy. There's something about it. They're like, I'm going to get them. Just tell me I'm not an artist. Is it working? Mm. Yep. But no, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's been a trip and it's something, a lot of things that I wouldn't have considered doing, but at the same time, it checks all the boxes of things that I enjoy doing. And, 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 and I, um, and I don't expect you, like, we don't expect you to, to, to be up there in the front dancing like clowns, like the rest of us, you know, you, you, you keep doing you, you know, you're a, a major part of the foundation of, of cryptic and you know, you're, you're the strong arm we can rely on. And we just thank you for everything. And mm-hmm. thank you to, to Philip as well. Like I know that, you know, yeah, he's been a huge support. Yeah. Uh, help for my self-esteem and everything else so then we can yeah. we're artists now we're business owners i guess we're gonna have to learn all this stuff together but yeah yeah so far so good hey it's mm-hmm. it's a learning process yeah we're not even a year in 
Yeah. So and we already have to do taxes. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's messed up. How crazy is that? Yeah, it's <laughs> six months and you got to do taxes? <laughs> Man. <Come on>. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my but, pocket, you know, government. Actually, to be honest with right. you, I, I can't wait until it's quarterly. Because that means you're doing well. Yeah. Extremely well. Yeah. You got to do taxes quarterly. You're doing something right. All right. Well, I guess we'll we'll call it good then. You guys good? Absolutely. Thank you yeah. again. Good. Yep. Thanks. Well, we'll see. You. Maybe we'll see you again soon. Yeah. You know, pop in. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Cool. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>